here today is an example of an improperly applied clear coat on a carbon fiber piece. So this carbon fiber piece is a fairly rare accessory for roadsters. It was also very expensive originally. And what we have here is an example of an improperly prepped and applied clear coat on carbon fiber. This car came to us and it looked like it had serious sunburn. What we usually do before we let any roadsters into our service center, we give them a bath. We were pressure washing this car after a long trip here to our service center and the clear coat remaining anyway just began to peel off and flake off in sheets. So fortunately, we're going to be able to sand this down and uh, reapply clear coat using the proper chemicals so that this never happens again. One of the ways that we can determine whether the damage on this carbon fiber surface is um, restorable or not is by using water to see what kind of a surface and luster we can bring back. So, as you can see here, a reapplication of clear coat on the surface is going to give us the result we want, which is a really deep, three-dimensional, uh, clear surface. So, what we will do next with this is take off the uh, remaining layers of old clear coat and use a higher grade material with a proper bond to restore the luster on this carbon fiber top. As always, thank you for watching our videos. We uh, currently have 29 roadsters. I just counted them this morning with three more coming in. And uh, luckily, they're going out as fast as they're coming in after we repair them, of course. So if you like things Tesla, especially the first generation Tesla vehicles, the Tesla Roadster, you won't find this many roadsters under one roof anywhere on the planet. And we will continue to repair, recondition, refurbish, and keep these wonderful early edition Teslas on the road. Please subscribe and we'll keep you in Tesla Tech.